While not exactly like his father, Gohan doesn't exactly embrace the warrior life, nor does he thrive on it. However, he can't seem to escape that environment. It's in his genes after all. While he dislikes fighting, he's quite very good at it, possibly one of the most talented in the universe, as there seems to be no ceiling to the power that Gohan can achieve. And with this power, he has managed to make his Saiyan ancestors proud by overcoming some of the strongest fighters in the universe, defeating them and humiliating them in the process. In this video, we will list 10 times Gohan humiliated his opponent in a fight. So without further ado, let's get right to it. There is something quite ironic and poetic about Garlic Jr. being defeated by his own technique, especially when you just use the Dragon Balls to wish for immortality, and use the only technique that could have defeated you. <sighs> Adding insult to injury, the small innocent child that you kidnapped and held hostage was the one to defeat you, it is a big slap to the face. Gohan being portrayed as this helpless little kid who's waiting for his daddy to rescue him, only for him to what essentially was one shot in Garlic Jr., sending him into a spiral doom of nothingness. Oh, until he later comes back and also gets defeated by the young Saiyan. Jesus. What is the four year old going to do to stop me? Uh Gohan's very first day in high school has him fiend off some criminals robbing a bank. You know, just classic first day things at school. Getting shot at, being stalked by a psychopath girl, wearing teddy bear underwear. Just really, who never experienced any of these on their first day? Anyways, Gohan here, Mr. I can catch bullets easily but I can't catch a f***ing earring, humiliates these robbers and only turns Super Saiyan in order to conceal his identity putting a wrench in their plans when he thwarts their escape and causes their arrest. By the way, I know I may seem like I'm taking the piss here, but honestly, the Great Saiyan Saga is one of the most underrated and fun sagas in the entire franchise. Level 1370! Impossible for a kid! You know that meme where Iron Man responds to Loki with We Have a Hulk? Well, in this instance, Goku might as well said to his brother We Have a Gohan, a child filled with mommy issues and rage to match it with. This moment in itself back in the day was very shocking to viewers and served as a foreshadowing to what kind of strength Gohan is going to possess. And while this is nothing compared to his true power, Gohan's anger and hearing his father's cries unveils in the form of rage as he headbutts the self-proclaimed Saiyan elite, almost bending him to his knees from the damage caused. Which is honestly the appropriate action. I mean, last time I was kidnapped by my own uncle, I had to use my head too. Gohan lays a beating to second form Frieza. Now while this moment isn't particularly glorious in terms of the outcome of the fight, however, something about Gohan snapping against Frieza, the tyrant who is mercilessly stabbing Krillin with his horns as everyone is helplessly watching, comes to a satisfying conclusion when Gohan rages towards Frieza, punching him and sending him back to the ground as Gohan charges at him relentlessly with key blast after key blast. Now, even though Frieza doesn't get hurt that much, if at all actually, it should still count as something for a 5 year old to humiliate the strongest known being in the universe at that point of the series. It's Frieza! A common stranger knows my name. I see that my illustrious reputation precedes me. 
Uh, this is probably Frieza's most humiliating defeat in the series. I mean, this guy has been resurrected so many times it's hard to count. In this particular instance, he is face to face with our favorite version of Gohan, the Great Saiyan Man. In the movie Fusion Reborn, Frieza managed to escape Hell and found his way through Earth. But he's immediately sent back to Hell when Gohan basically one-shots him with a single punch in his base form no less. This is honestly hilarious and so disrespectful. This is possibly one of the most satisfying one-sided fights we have seen in the show. Gohan easily demolishing and one-shotting the Cell Juniors. Not only that, but he invokes fear into them, terrorizing them as they run for their lives. These seemingly mindless creatures did a number on the Z Fighters. Even Goku, Vegeta, and Trunks had a hard time dealing with them. Gohan's badass demeanor in this fight as he transitions from the helpless pacifist we have seen earlier in the show into a capable cold-blooded and brutal fighter. All this in the form of Super Saiyan 2, demonstrating impeccable speed and strength. I said before I could never forgive you! In Movie 9, Bojack Unbound, which sets shortly after the Cell games, following the death of Goku and defeat of Cell, Gohan is once again taking center stage. He's even featured in his father's orange gi. Though, uninterestingly enough, he's paired up against Bojack, a villain with the personality of a dead battery. And speaking of battery, Gohan's Super Saiyan 2 batters and brutally murders Bojack, punching him through his stomach in the climax of the movie and proceeds to obliterate him with a Kamehameha. I know you're kind. You think you can waltz in and just take our planet? Now let's not kid ourselves, this is basically a copy paste from the Gohan vs. Salt Jr. fight. As you can see, the animators didn't shy away from making that perfectly clear when their bodies exploded from the impact of Gohan's punches. Though, I'd say the most notable difference in this instance is Gohan walking solely by Bojack's henchmen who are using their telekinetic abilities in order to paralyze Gohan's movements. But like I mentioned before in a previous video, your abilities means jack shit if you don't have the power to back them. Gohan's Super Saiyan 2 power overwhelms them completely as he sends them flying to the afterlife. Gohan toys and emasculates Perfect Cell. The main villain of this show at that point couldn't touch Gohan, being thrown around and bent to his knees after getting punched so hard in the stomach. Just seeing Cell's face expression during that fight tells you everything on the kind of dominance Gohan possessed at that point. Cell stood no chance. He was outclassed in every category. His frustration and desperation led him to increase his size to gain more strength. But even that failed when Gohan hits him so hard that he barfed up Android 18 and then proceeded to de-evolve to his semi-perfect state. Gohan doesn't even stop there, he torments the weakened Cell. Cell is so frightened that he calls Gohan a monster. This is by far one of the most one-sided fights in the entire franchise. <laughs> So, Hotshot, you want to fight Majin Buu? 
fight you. No, I want to kill you. Here we see a culmination of all his journey. Gohan is no longer that whiny child with anger issues and uncontrolled bursts of power. He is supremely confident and at ease with his power as he takes over the mark of hero, as evident with him wearing his father's orange gi for the first time in the actual series. He chose this clothes to honor his father. It was symbolic of Gohan being handed the torch in order to take the series forward. Although this altercation between Gohan and Super Buu highlights the faults of Gohan's arrogance and his Saiyan instincts taking over, none can deny that this is one of the one of his most badass moments. I think his line that he delivers in the Funimation dub has to be one of the coldest moments in the series. Of course, unless your preference lies within the Japanese dub, when Gohan straight up calls Buu a Riri. Which, to be honest, putting aside your sudden urge to cancel Gohan on Twitter, this line doesn't bode well when the same character that you insulted outsmarts you and absorbs you eventually. Yeah. It seems that many define Gohan as a character who simply has lots of potential that is often wasted. Some saw his character die after the Cell games, claiming that his badass aura that he carried during that arc is gone. Though I'd personally disagree, Gohan is badass in many ways. He has powers that defy comprehension. He is not like any other character. Gohan brings depth and emotional attraction to his development as a warrior, a hero, and a leader. We see him time and time again demonstrate a willingness to sacrifice his own desire and preference for the greater good. Unlike his father who thrives in fighting, Gohan doesn't want to fight. Therefore, seeing him do it out of necessity gives so much meaning to every Gohan moment. Speaking of which, tell me what's your favorite Gohan moment? Did I miss any moments? Comment down below. Also, before I leave, I just want to tell you guys, if you want to hear my thoughts and reviews on the Dragon Ball Super manga, then please make sure you head to the second channel, Mudzi 2. It's relatively new in terms of how I'm uploading content. So if you want to support me, I'll be so thankful. Other than that, if you guys enjoyed this video, then please like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.